Hello and welcome Gemini. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly checkup or check-in. Just seeing what is coming in this week, March 2nd through the 8th for Gemini. So what is coming in? Hope you guys had a great weekend. Ready to get this week started. Gemini. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Gemini, bottom of the deck, we do have that five of pentacles, um, you know, abandonment, feeling left out in the cold, you know, it's that loss. All right. Um, hmm. Okay. So, all right, Gemini. So we have you showing up as a queen of wands. Now, overall, I'm kind of getting that sense as you're kind of turning your back to something or turning your head to something, I should say. Um, either you don't want to acknowledge something or you're just kind of giving up on something. Like, I, I'm getting the sense for some of you, it's like, um, you know, you've been kind of not so much chasing after a person, um, but more like, you know, you've been trying to catch someone's attention, catch someone's eye, and either they're not really paying attention or they're not giving you the response that you wanted, something along those lines. But, you know, it's like, okay, well now, you know, I'm not going to chase you anymore. I'm not going to, you know, I'm, no, I, I'm comfortable. You know, I'm the queen of wands, you know, like I am magnetic. Um, you know, I'm, I'm gorgeous. This could be just because it's a queen of wands doesn't mean, you know, this doesn't apply to the fellas too. So guys, you know, this can be your energy as well. Um, but, you know, definitely, like I said, kind of knowing your worth, knowing that, you know, you're not going to chase anybody. It's just like, no, you know, if you're going to treat me like this, then, you know, I'm, I'm going to turn my head to you too. Um, I'll focus on something else because there's somebody else out there, you know, that will give me the attention I want or, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for. Um, now the problem over here is the justice card. Again, not really getting what you want, uh, you know, from this person, from the situation. Um, you know, scales, even though the scales are kind of balanced in this, you know, her sword is up. She's, you know, like trying to, you know, deliver justice, deliver that karma. Um, but more it's like, I'm just getting that you're not getting the outcome that you're desiring, the outcome that you want from this. Now, in your current environment, we do have the Page of Cups. So, you know, this is someone, there could be a little bit of an age difference since you are showing up as a Queen of Wands, you know, more mature, um, you know, kind of has your stuff together a little bit more. You know, Page of Cups, this is kind of a younger, more immature energy. So, again, there could be a bit of an age difference between you guys. But this is someone who wants, you know, who is um, expressing their feelings, who's, you know, kind of offering that cup to you, wanting, you know, to offer you this, you know, wanting to, um, you know, offer you out or offer, you know, ask you out on a date or, you know, something along those lines, like, you know, Hey, Jim and I, here's my cup, you know, do you accept it? Um, you know, again, that's up to you. Um, I'm almost getting, you know, like opposites attract, like, I think this is going to be someone kind of out of your comfort zone. I don't think you've really paid attention to this person, but it's like now you're kind of seeing them in a different light. It's kind of like, you know, it's it's something kind of unexpected, not really what you were wanting, but yet, you know, the universe kind of has a way of giving us things that we didn't know we wanted in the first place. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. And for some of you, this is also about kind of getting like where you've been kind of blocked, you know, creatively, um, you know, as far as like for your job, um, you know, whatever the case is, you know, even in matters of the heart, you know, maybe you're trying to, um, you know, get some new passion back into your relationship or something, you know, the page of cups, that's almost like 
kind of, like I said, feeling blocked. And it's like with this page of cups here, this is a renewal. This is, um, getting that unblocked, you know, finding new ways to, again, be creative, getting those creative juices flowing, you know, a renewal of something here. So, you know, take it how it resonates. Now the solution to this problem, um, you know, definitely Gemini, this is, uh, I'm almost, I'm hearing like, um, you know, be thankful for what you do have because Gemini, you've got a lot going for you. But it's like there's still something, it's almost wanting what you can't have. And that's kind of the main reason you want it is because you can't have it. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's not going to be for everybody. You know, just kind of take that how it resonates. It could be a person, it could be a job, it could be, um, you know, material items, something. But it's just, it's showing the need to kind of feel thankful for, you know, this abundance that you already have, that you've already gotten for yourself. You know, you're a very confident person, you're a very independent person. And it's like, you know, you, you've already built or you are building this empire for yourself, you know, however you want to look at that. Um, but you've got your ducks in a row, you know, you've got your stuff together. You know, like I said, you are, you know, pretty stable. You are, you know, abundant and yeah. So it's just kind of like, you know, hmm. now for others of you, what I'm getting is if this has something to do with um, a legal agreement or a divorce or something, it's like you're really kind of getting, you know, you're, you're um, getting a successful judgment. So, all right. Now, the outcome is the Knight of Swords. So, Gemini, where there was once, um, you know, somebody either ignoring you or not giving you, again, the outcome that you desired, or not giving you enough attention, you know, whatever the case was, um, we do have the Knight of Swords coming in as the outcome. You know, this is that kind of in and out energy, um, you know, kind of swift, very kind of unexpected, you know, because it is so fast happening so fast. So you c it could very well be this week that you hear from this person. And they're bringing in communication, wanting to kind of clear things up, you know, clear the air. Is this going to last with this person? You know, Knight of Swords, like I said, it's it's in and out energy. Um, your energy definitely feels more stable than this person's. Um, and I think that causes a little bit of confusion. You know, I think you... There's going to be, you know, like I said, a decision that you're going to have to make. It's like you want to offer this person, you want to talk to them, you want to tell them your feelings, but then at the same time, you know, you're not going to chase them. But then it's also, you know, you want this person to come in to make this offer, but then it's like for some of you, it's like as soon as they do, you're, that brings confusion. You know, and then you're left wondering, well, do I want to take this? Do I want to start this new journey? Do I want to, you know, rebuild with this person? Do I want to take that leap of faith with this person? You know, do I want to start this journey with this person? Because they are so hot and cold. They are so in and out. Like I said, with the moon card here, um, you know, that's just kind of what I'm getting is that kind of confusion. You know, this person possibly could have cheated on you or could, they could have been with someone else. You know, again, not really giving you the time of day, not really throwing, you know, you could, there could have been, I'm getting kind of flirty. Um, there's some flirtation between you guys, but at the same time, I think this person was already with somebody or maybe this is you. And therefore, you know, like I said, with this moon card here, it's almost just, you know, like I said, you just kind of turn your head on it either as soon as you found out they were with someone or something, but it's like this person's not ready to give up. You know, they are going to, like I said, swiftly kind of coming, in, they're swiftly coming in and, you know, trying to clear up the air and just like, you know, okay, just talk to me, Gemini, you know, let's get this worked out. Let's, you know, let's see where this can go. Let's start this. So, but I mean, this is, you know, the ball's in your court here. All right, let's get some love oracle. Okay. Love oracle for Gemini, and then I will take an energy oracle for you as well. Okay, yeah. So we have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So yeah, exactly what I was kind of picking up there. Um, but again, abundance, you know, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So again, this goes back to this 10 of pentacles for me, you know, and you feeling very confident, very independent, you know, you have your own abundance, you know, just, you know, appreciate those things that you do have, you know, 
just think, you know, last year, any time, whatever it was, you know, you kind of manifested, oh, I wish I had this. I wish I had that. And now you're at that position where you are getting those things. Those things are coming in for you or you've acquired those things that you wanted, you know, at that one point in time. And so, you know, again, just be thankful for that. Know that things come in, you know, in their own time. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's definitely, now whether this person has really kind of separated from this third party, I'm not getting that they've separated from this. So Gemini, just, um, you know, be cautious. Um, bottom of the deck, we do have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. So again, Gemini, be very cautious of this person, of their energy. Um, because I'm not sure that they quite gave up their person. So, all right, let's go ahead and get an energy oracle. All right, yep. All right, so we do have attachment. Um, you know, either it's this person you know, almost telling you what you want to hear. Like I said, just being very kind of flirty with you one minute, you know, kind of that hot and cold, you know, in and out type energy. Um, but there is some kind of an attachment here, you know, this, but I'm just getting, it's more of like a toxic, you know, I'm not getting that this is going to be long-term at all, Gemini. <clears throat> all right. One more, please. Let's get something good for Gemini, please. All right, so we do have um, strategy. So this is you, you know, I think trying to figure this person out. I think this is you trying to figure out how they let this person, their other person go. Are they just telling me what I want to hear or do they actually mean it this time? Um, you know, this is you kind of figuring out. I think this person is a narcissist. Um, and again, this is you realizing I'm not going to chase this person. You know, I know my worth. I am a confident. I am an independent person. <clears throat> you know, I've built this empire for myself. You know, I've made it this far without this person before. I can keep going. Um, you know, for some of you, like I said, there is still kind of an attachment here, but it's, for me, it's just kind of toxic. So be very wary of that because it does look like this person's going to be coming back. So, <clears throat> and like I said, it, it just doesn't feel like they kind of cut ties with the other person. So you could still be in a third party involvement. So again, just be very weary of that. Um, all right, so that is what I have for you for this week, Gemini. Thank you so very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you all again soon.